I'm going to give you three former Chicago Bulls that the Bulls should bring back. And it starts right now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So number three on my list, you got to go with Thad Young. Now, here's the thing. I want him back for completely different reasons than most people do, right? Like for a lot of people, they want Thad Young back in the building because they want that old thing back right they want to see thad be successful on a bulls team and come out and give you the production that he did when he was here and be thadic johnson i don't want that here for that reason i want that here because i feel like there's a couple of guys that could benefit from his veteran presence on the on this team one of which being zach levine who's very close to him and i feel like that calming voice in the locker room would do a lot for for uh, uh, our our Bulls team moving forward, right? I want that back in here, not playing 24 to 28 minutes a game, but playing kind of like he did last season, 17 to 15 minutes a game, right? Allowing the young guys to even be able to, to get in there and get some run. Maybe a Justin Lewis is able to make the team in that situation and he's able to get some run there. But we see that AK's kind of got a thing for guys of that build, that Thad Young build, right? So I think that that could be a good sounding board for guys Guys like P. Will, Justin Lewis, Zach Levine, those guys just kind of that bet on the bench to keep the team calm. And I feel like, you know, he can still give you good production. So he's not just giving you the UD role, but he still can come in there and give you some good production if you need him to play off of the bench. Still can come in there and give you some good minutes. We saw that at times last season in Toronto, right? When he got a little bit more run, he was able to do a little bit more. That's kind of how it goes with that. And, and I, li I like that he's become this level of player. Now he's 34 years old. You can get him in here on a little bit of nothing. He can give you some backup uh, for help behind P. Will and give you just kind of some tips and tricks that to, to help P. Will be a better defender, rebounder, all of those things, right? So uh, a, a, a Thad Young in the Chicago Bulls jersey would really excite me, and I think that would be uh, one of the former Bulls that I would love to bring back. Now, before I continue with the video, I want to know which former Bulls you guys think should be back in the building, man. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear it from you as well. I'll be down there talking with you. Now, number two on my list, a guy, again, with a little bit more mileage on the body, but that still can give you some good production off of the bench. Now, he would be a trade piece, right? He would be a lower level trade piece for me. Maybe you work out a, a trade with a, a sign and trade with a Derrick Jones Jr. or something like that, if it's somewhere he wants to go. But I feel like Justin Holiday would be a good addition to this team. Justin Holiday was somebody who last season was still able to give you some good production in 28 minutes of play. Now, more so in Indiana than when he got moved over to Sacramento but uh, when he was in uh, Indiana, right, he was shooting at 37% from the three-point line. This Bulls team needs shooting. It needs length. He's still able to provide some pretty good defense for you. I would love to see Justin Holiday come in and, and, and not even in a big role, right? This is not a huge deal. This is not a trade Kobe for Justin Holiday deal just to get Kobe off the team like people are, are kind of talking about here where they're just trying to move Kobe. No, this is, this is a lower level trade for me. He only makes about $6 million a year. He'll be an unrestricted free agent next year. Um, so you'd be you wouldn't be on the hook for anything too much if he gives you some production he gives you some production right but I feel like you would be able to do uh, a little bit there if you if you get Justin Holiday in the building, right? It kind of solidifies that length and that shooting and that defense off your bench. You're adding that in with Ion Desumu, you're adding that in with Alex Caruso. I think that that could be the startings of a really nice bench. And again, you get that savvy veteran in there. Y'all can tell I have a theme here, right? I like the veteran that comes in with a little bit of leadership. He's been around the block. He understands. This is still a really young team. When you think about it, yeah, there are some bets on this team. You got Demar, you got Boost. There's some guys that have been around the block but this for the most part this is still an incredibly young team zach levine is one of the most tenured players on the team and he's only 27. so i think justin holiday another guy who could come in give you some pretty good production give you some pretty good uh, uh leadership on that team and could do some good things for you on the defensive end as well justin holiday would be number two on my list and number one on my list of former chicago bulls that i would bring back Ooh, this name is going to hit a lot of people. Dougie McBuckets McDermott. Now, let me tell y'all what Dougie McBuckets has been doing, right? Since he's left the Chicago Bulls. 
Now he dealt with a little bit of injury last season, right? So wasn't able to get the numbers up as much, but still shot it 42% from the three point line. We need three pointers. We need, we need a uh, size. We need length. We need a little bit of help on the rebounding side. He's not going to give you a ton of that, but uh, even a little bit better of a defender in a Doug McDermott. Now he's somebody who absolutely can come off the bench, come off the screens, knock down big shots for the Chicago Bulls. Now to get it done, what would you have to do? You'd probably have to move because Doug McDermott has worked himself into a $13 million contract, which is hilarious to say, right? Uh, that might be a situation where you are trading Kobe White and you might have to do a sign and trade on a Derrick Jones Jr., right? Um, but going out there getting Doug McDermott, right? He would solidify a lot of things for you, especially that you need on that shooting edge. He would give you a legit threat as a shooter. And even, I mean, of course, last season, you know, those are the numbers that are most recent. But even if you look at his season before, back in Indiana, he was a 50, am I reading this right? Yeah, 53% from the field type player, knocking down five, just over five of his 10 shots. So uh, it, it, that's the guy, kind of guy that you would love to see on the Chicago Bulls team. And he's worked himself up to league average as a defender if you look at his defensive metrics so that's even better there because now you're talking about him coming off of the bench not being a liability defensively like a bat thomas or some of those guys were at times even a kobe white at times was a lot a little bit of a liability defensively but being somebody who can just be average on the defensive end which is all we ask and guess what he's paired with io DeSumo. he's paired with alex caruso uh, uh, uh he's paired with this this young rookie in dalen terry who was on the all uh defensive team for his conference. You know what I'm saying? You're getting solid production out of Doug McDermott defensively. Uh, you're getting a guy that's going to be able to run. You're getting a guy that's going to be able to come off screens and knock down shots. You're getting a guy that's going to be able to actually attack the basket. Now, if you've seen a little bit of Dougie's game, Dougie's actually got a little bit of a game going to the basket. Now, I think I seen him turn the ball over on somebody too. He hit him with a huh out here. So, uh, and yeah, it would cost you technically two players to bring back Doug McDermott, but it's one player in Kobe White who you feel like hasn't been able to be consistent enough with knocking down shots and things like that. And another player in Derrick Jones Jr. who you probably weren't bringing back anyway because he's probably going to make upwards of $9 million next year. So maybe you work out a little bit of a sign and trade. You figure out how that deal works, right? And maybe, just maybe, you're able to pry Doug McDermott out of San Antonio, get him to come here to the Chicago Bulls to be our big shot maker. But I want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be talking with you as well. Those were my three former Chicago Bulls that I thought the Bulls should bring back. Let me know which ones you think the Chicago Bulls should bring back in the comments below. As always, man, it's your boy Pat the Designer back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bulls content. Click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.